Well, good morning, Mr. Barry Ford. We're here good with morning. Um, the Secretary of State for Foreign Affairs, Amandra Perales, um, from EBS Guides. And if you allow me, I will start with my first question. Yes? Sure. As a paradise in the Indian Ocean, Seychelles competes with many other islands across the globe, from Southeast Asia to the Caribbean, as well with nearby countries. Nevertheless, you've managed to position yourselves as one of the top tourism destinations worldwide. What are the competitive and comparative advantages that set this country apart? Well, uh, Seychelles uh, is a, a country which uh, positions itself as uh, one of the best in terms of, of tourism. And what differentiates it from, from the others mm -hmm. is its, uh, its natural beauty, uh, the pristine environment uh, that we have. And it's the only um, middle ocean granitic islands that exists in uh, in the world. Um, we are also a country which is uh, stable, mm -hmm. peaceful, uh, with um, uh, uh, beautiful um, beaches and and, 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 and islands, uh, nice turquoise uh, yeah. ocean. Okay. Uh, but uh, we also are distinct, as I said, from the others in the sense that um, Seychelles has a mixture of, um, of topology. We have coral land islands and we have granitic uh, mountainous uh, islands. Um, and uh, it's 115 islands spread out over 1.4 million square kilometers of ocean, which gives um, a, a people a diversity of things that, that can be done uh, in Seychelles when you visit uh, Seychelles. So you can have uh, a nice quiet, a quiet holiday somewhere in isolated, on an isolated uh, a corner of Seychelles, mm -hmm. or you may choose to have an adventurous kind of, of holiday where you go visiting different uh, islands, what you call island hopping, mm -hmm. uh, and changing between the, the, the granitic uh, islands to the, the coralline islands. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is <clears throat> what I would say differentiates Seychelles uh, from the others, uh, despite Seychelles being relatively more expensive mm. uh, than, uh, than other countries. So there is uh, much more uh, uh, to eat than, uh, than what others uh, offer. We also have a, a multicultural uh, society um, and our Creole uh, culture, our Creole identity uh, also uh, is fascinating. Seychelles is the, the microcosm of the United Nations, uh, of the world, if you wish. Mm -hmm. We're all the, the blends of, of uh, ethnic uh, groups and uh, non-ethnic groups that exist yeah. uh, in the country. I'm an example of somebody who is uh, a mixture of races, you know, Africa, uh, yeah. Europe, uh, Asia, you know, it's all the, it's the blends uh, in, the, in the country. So that's why we are so flexible and so adaptable and so sociable, you know, open to um, to visit us. So indeed you have 115 um, islands and a population of 96,000, but you also have an exclusive economic zone of around 1.4 million square kilometers. So Seychelles tourism and fishing based economy is in a way vulnerable to, to piracy within the region. Could you tell us more about the agreement signed uh, in order to protect and to um, gather cooperation in this regard with other countries? Yes, um, we have been um Given our proximity to uh, to Somalia, mm -hmm. uh, which is one of our closest neighbors on the coastline of the African continent, um, and uh, as you know, the turmoil that has existed there for uh, for ages, uh, it has created um, the piracy, okay, uh, in the in the area, which uh, which has also uh, uh, spread over the uh, the region. Uh, Especially in the in the since 2008 uh, in that in that in the period 2008 2009 um, and uh, fortunately we um, made a call to neighboring countries to international partners and and we had the the, the immediate cooperation of uh, of our friends uh, in the world and in the region to um, to. Put in place a, a counter piracy front, which was able to um, address uh, piracy within a relatively uh, short period. Yeah. 
Um, and uh, that, of course, uh, meant um, going into agreements with, uh, with countries, with, uh, with organizations. Um, and we've, do we've done that successfully with BEAT, with the European Union, uh, with the United Nations itself, uh, with individual countries, France, uh, the UK, um, with um, uh, more neighboring countries, the yes. India, uh, China a bit further, of course, with the UAE, um, Mauritius, Kenya. So um, we, we've had uh, the, the blessing of uh, of uh, this friendship that we have with countries because our foreign policy has always been friends uh, all and enemies to none. That has also helped us. Um, but what has also helped is the fact that Seychelles uh, is seen in the international community as a responsible and a reliable partner. Um, and uh, we uh, were very happy to be constructive and to, uh, and to uh, take on certain measures which, which uh, put us perhaps in a vulnerable situation, but which were necessary for us also to play our part in, um, in defeating uh, piracy, in putting piracy under control. We had to, um, to, to develop our um, criminal justice system, strengthen it, uh, and uh, so one of the first things we did, for instance, was to um, to insert uh, piracy in our laws uh, as mm -hmm. a as a concept, right. um, and uh, that was the first in the world. There was there's no country in the world uh, until we did we did it um, to include piracy as a concept. Uh, in law, which could be uh, addressed in in the courts of, of law, so that was done by by, by us, and uh, we also had the help of other countries, of international organisations, to to do that. Uh, of course, so we we helped to capture, identify, capture, um, and prosecute, and incarcerate um, the pirates, which were found guilty in court in the court of law, uh, and uh, and we also signed agreements with with Somalia. For instance, to for them to uh, for the pirates uh, to be transferred once prosecuted here, to be incarcerated, to be transferred, all those who who won their cases, uh, individuals who won their their cases, to also be transferred back to uh, to Somalia, to the various regions in Somalia, be it Somaliland, Puntland, or, yeah. or or Somalia itself. So yeah. you certainly have been leaders in this in this regard. So how do yes. you think this leadership could be applicable to other sectors other than piracy um, with your international relations in terms of trade, or tourism as well? Yeah, I think uh, we have, uh, perhaps piracy is, is an example, but we have also been applying it mm -hmm. in, other, in other areas. We've come out in the forefront on, on the blue economy, for instance, yes. um, given our, I would say our, our advantage, our comparative advantage of having you know, vast ocean, 1.4 million square kilometers, having a thriving uh, fishing industry, in, uh, uh, particularly uh, tuna. We are right in the middle of the movement of the tuna, tuna stocks in Victoria is one of the most important ports where uh, the transshipment of tuna uh, is concerned. So we have um, uh, come out to use uh, the blue economy, uh, which is basically uh, Sustainable development applied to the to the oceans, mm -hmm. um, and whereas when other countries uh, were uh, reluctant to do it uh, worldwide, uh, we uh, we did so. When other countries, even those that had oceans, uh, did not have an understanding uh, of it, yes. we we managed. Uh, we took a leading role, and we managed to have it endorsed in international. Uh, uh, documents in the African Union strategic plan, it is there in the SADC strategic plan, in the COMESA uh, uh, strategic development plans. So you have the blue economy now, even in the in the level of the United Nations. Yes. It is one of the uh, sustainable development goals, SDG 14, in fact, Indeed. of the UN uh, Agenda 2030. Mm -hmm. So uh, we did not do that alone, of course. We did it in collaboration with the like-minded uh, countries and, and organizations. Um, 
we have the support of the Commonwealth, uh, for instance, uh, and certain specialized agencies in the United Nations, mm -hmm. um, we have the support of the European Union uh, as well. So this is, you know, a small country, 90,000 inhabitants, you know, playing uh, a, a constructive and a reliable uh, and responsible uh, role in the world. So we do that in Paris, we've done it in the blue economy, uh, we, uh, we, we've done that in tourism, mm -hmm. you know, we, uh, and uh, we will continue to, to play this, uh, this, this role, you know, uh, despite our own constraints and limitations as a, as a developing country. Yes, you've definitely managed to um, to overcome all these issues, piracy, you're at the farm farm for the blue economy, but you also have another challenge here. We were yesterday with uh, Mr. Jean-Paul Adam, and he mentioned that drugs are indeed a, a great concern no, here in this country. So what do you think are the is the strategy you will follow in order to tackle this issue as you did with, with others? We uh, are cognizant of the fact that uh, drugs come from our borders. Yes, okay. uh, your border control. Uh, it's very limited uh, from inside, very limited. Yes. So it comes from the borders. So the strategy is to engage with our, with our partners mm -hmm. uh, internationally. The, the president is going to Kenya, for instance, uh, and that would be, uh, uh, would feature on the agenda. Uh, and uh, so we, that's, that's part of the strategy. Uh, the, the, the Honourable Minister, Jean-Paul Adda, you mentioned, uh, he was, he attended on behalf of the President, who is the Minister of Foreign Affairs, just a few yes. uh, weeks ago, on the 1st of March, the uh, Council of Ministers of the Indian Ocean Commission. Mm -hmm. and, and there, once again, the, the call for the region, you know, under the auspices of the Indian Ocean Commission, to, um, uh, to work with Seychelles, uh, on an initiative that we took, that we put before the Indian Ocean Commission, for us to devise a regional strategy to combat narco trafficking. Um, so uh, this is, you know, these are some initiatives, uh, initiatives that we're taking uh, in the region and internationally. Here we have um, a center called the Reflex Three Center, uh, which is the successor to RAPIC. The okay. Rapid Center, which was established when Paris all began, and we we had an agreement with uh, former Prime Minister David Cameron of the United Kingdom, mm -hmm. um, whereby the UK uh, helped us to put up this facility here. Mm -hmm. And in those days, it was more targeted at uh, developing regional cooperation to combat Paris. Yes. Uh, but as we said, as uh, Paris Paris. Um, uh, reduced uh, in the in the region, we uh, saw the need for us to also have the same same kind of framework which addresses all forms of crime which are happening at sea, the transnational organized crimes, including uh, narco trafficking. Uh, so the Reflex Three Center, uh, which is now maybe you, you take the, the opportunity to visit it here whilst, whilst you're here, uh, is there mm -hmm. to deal with that in collaboration with our regional partners being and the international partners of course like the united kingdom uh, the uh, uk uh, the dutch mm -hmm. um, australia kenya you know the uae to name but a few countries which are already on board uh, with us in this in this campaign of course there are others who do not belong to reflex three uh, mm -hmm. center uh, who will, who are in, who are collaborating with us um, through either the multilateral um, structures that exist, mm -hmm. or even at uh, the bilateral level. According to Mr. Colombo Morel, Seychelles has the possibility to extend its cooperation with its neighbors and explore the vast potential that countries of the regions can offer. So, what could be improved nowadays? Do you think, in in terms of your relations with your neighbors and other countries? Well, we have excellent relations with our neighbors. Uh, mm -hmm. And, uh, Is there a region you would like to develop a bit more your relations? Or? We have a policy, as I said, of uh, friends to all and enemies to none. We engage with uh, with all friendly uh, countries, and uh, we uh, we we've done that successfully in the past. We will continue uh, to do so. 
um, there's no change uh, there where the vision uh, is, is concerned. Um, we have over the, uh, the, the decades uh, developed uh, at the multilateral level strong partnerships within, uh, within the region. If we start within the region with the Indian Ocean Commission, with SADC, the Southern African Development uh, Community, which is a community of 15 countries in, in Southern Africa. With, uh, with COMESA, about uh, 19 uh, countries that covers the whole of the eastern and part of, of uh, southern uh, Africa. There are others who do not belong to COMESA who also want yeah. uh, to join uh, this, the, the common uh, market for eastern and southern mm -hmm. uh, Africa. Uh, we are part of the Indian Ocean uh, Ream Association, uh, which uh, cuts across the whole of the Indian Ocean uh, from, uh, from Australia to South Africa, um, uh, and passing through uh, Indonesia and Sri Lanka and, and India. So um, regionally, uh, there are no other regional organizations from the multilateral level which, which are so important, which we do not belong to. So, uh, we have uh, really spread our wings where, uh, at, the, at the multilateral uh, level and uh, we have over the years, despite our constraints as well, uh, established ourselves in, in key areas of the world in terms of our diplomatic uh, representation. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, we also, that's in terms of our missions. And mm -hmm. Recently, it was announced that we are all also opening in, in Cuba. We've already because there's one here already, as well. It's, they've been here for a long time, yeah. for decades. Yes. Uh, so we uh, we have finally been able to open one in okay. in Cuba. Um, and uh, there is uh, also Geneva. Mm -hmm. We are opening a uh, fully fledged Fair mission enough. in yes. Geneva. We have one now, but uh, it is at charge d'affaires level. Yeah. So there will be. A fully fledged mission in uh, in Geneva as of uh, uh, next year, yeah. um, and uh, that adds on to the others that, ex that exist. You know, in Pretoria and Addis, that's in, in Africa, okay. and in Asia we have in Delhi, in Colombo, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, in Beijing, um, as well as in the in Abu Dhabi, in the in the UAE. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, of course, in Europe we have Paris, we have uh, yeah, Brussels, we have London, and now, of course, Geneva will, will join. And, of course, in the, in the Americas we have New York, which covers um, Washington. Um, but other than these diplomatic missions, we also have consular representations. We have honorary consuls. And we've got about 80 honorary consuls spread out throughout the, uh, the, the world. Mm -hmm. That's where we want to go. In fact, the, the idea is to expand our network of honorary consuls. They are honorary. Uh, yes. They are at no cost to Seychelles. People who are of, have affinity and uh, a passion to promote the interests of, of Seychelles wherever they are, be it in Senegal uh, or in, uh, uh, in Cote d'Ivoire or in uh, Uruguay, yes. you know, or... Uh, uh, Mongolia, you know, so yeah. hopefully our guide will do the same thing, promote your country elsewhere. Yes, that will also be one of, of course, for right. the purpose of it. Yes, right. With beaches known as, as the most beautiful in the world, and well, hospitable people, we've we've seen that. Um, Seychelles is definitely one of the top tourist destinations. But how is Seychelles doing in terms of business? How do you think is the environment for business here, and what um, chances for investments are there? You just need to go and look at the doing in business. Uh, a report which is released uh, annually um, okay. by the World Bank, I think, yes. to see that Seychelles uh, has uh, uh, a certain number of, of limitations in terms of doing business, but it also records that there has been a progress mm -hmm. over, over the years. Now, um, we, uh, as a small island state with our own uh, uh, topography, the limitations of, uh, of that we have, the small uh, uh, economic base, small population. Um, we uh, have uh, the challenge uh, of limited opportunities in terms of, of investment. So the investments would be in tourism, uh, 
in uh, in financial services, mm -hmm. in uh, uh, and in the related uh, uh, businesses, of course. Mm -hmm. Um, we mentioned previously uh, in fisheries, uh, but we also have uh, in the blue economy, that is a totally new uh, area where a lot uh, can be done. Uh, there is also petroleum exploration. We have, uh, uh, we are considered as uh, a potential uh, province for oil and gas. Uh, and there are lots of uh, studies. Mm -hmm. There are lots of studies that have been done which show that uh, the strong evidence that there is oil in Seychelles it just needs to be discovered. In fact, I had uh, the Petro Seychelles, which is the company which has been mandated by government to um, oversee the exploration of petroleum mm -hmm. and gas. Uh, and I can tell you that uh, um, there is uh, a lot of potential. And this is an area where we are uh, uh, inviting uh, investors. Unfortunately, with the drop in prices, prices, which is good for the consumer, yeah. because we import a lot of, of oil here to run our energy systems, uh, it has, on the other hand, not helped investment in the exploration of petroleum and gas. But it's picking up now, and uh, mm -hmm. there, there is new interest uh, already. Yeah, the price uh, might go the up, and then you will have a good opportunity then, definitely. Yes. Well, since uh, President Ford took um, office, we're witnessing a lot of reforms, many changes in the country. Um, it's, it's a bit hard to, to, to keep track of everything that's happening nowadays. Yes. Um, so you, with all these changes, there's a great opportunity for, for country branding, because you're reestablishing plenty of the offices. You want a new country in a way, with economy, mm -hmm. tourism. Um, and um, an investment. So, how is Seychelles and your government working to communicate all these changes and um, and the opportunities that come with them? I think uh, there is definitely um, uh, a uh, a new a new atmosphere, a new ambiance uh, in the mm -hmm. country with the uh, new administration that has been that has come uh, into power uh, since uh, October. Uh, last year, um, and uh, which is good uh, for the for the country, uh, for the people, um, and uh, it uh, there is a new era, if you wish, that uh, has been ushered, mm -hmm. um, um, and uh, the the president has also uh, uh, shown openness mm -hmm. to the media. Uh, as well, I think it's uh, one of the first things uh, he did after his first State of the Nation address in February was to invite all the media houses to State House mm -hmm. and to have a, a press conference uh, with uh, with the media um, with no prepared questions, uh, basically. So um, this this kind of openness basically uh, defines. The, the approach of, of his administration, which is based on transparency, accountability, and on good governance, as well as ensuring that um, we continue with the, the policy of, mm -hmm. of, the, of the ruling party, which is to ensure that there is equitable distribution of uh, the resources of, of, the, of the country. Um, <clears throat> there is a need for this to be, to be properly branded, uh, of course. Um, we are still in the early days uh, of, of the administration. Mm -hmm. um, they, they, um, in foreign policy, that's where, where I come from, um, we, uh, he's made it very clear that our foreign policy has to be one which, whilst being as in the past um, uh, an active diplomacy, yes. it also has to be a, prag a pragmatic uh, foreign policy. So mm -hmm. a, a foreign policy which is both um, uh, active, but also pragmatic, in the sense that our actions uh, beyond our borders should be uh, actions whilst also um, engaging and benefiting the, the global system in international relations, 
should also have a uh, tangible impact uh, in Seychelles. Um, while Seychelles is a country which um, is considered by the World Bank itself as a higher income uh, country. Yes. Um, in terms of our own definition of poverty, mm -hmm. there is a certain uh, level of poverty which is rated at, as, again, by the World Bank, yes. uh, as 40%. And the UN Human Development Index as well, you're pretty high up. We, yeah, exactly. Yes. But we also have um, certain issues that we need to, to, to address really? you know, in terms of equalities, uh, in terms of uplifting the standards of living of the people. So that's why there is a need first to ensure that our uh, our actions in the uh, international arena also have a tangible impact uh, on the uh, the citizens, you know, on the people uh, of the country, so that we um, we also contribute through our diplomacy to the upliftment of the quality and the standards uh, of the people, whilst we also uh, promote the uh, the. Um, the image of the country uh, internationally, you know, or we also contributed to, to uh, the peace, peace and stability in the region and 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 beyond. Um, so that's uh, from a foreign policy perspective. Uh, from uh, the uh, from the country, the total country uh, perspective, there is a need uh, for us to do more. What you're doing will help us, of course. In the branding of uh, of Seychelles as a country which is, as I said before, reliable, responsible, a model of a country where there is uh, peace and stability, the model of a country where there is transparency, good governance, yeah. accountability, uh, and uh, which uh, which um, plays a leading role on. Uh, on on, much, on 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 issues which are of concern to the international community's consciousness. So um, allow me now to answer a personal question. Now that um, you've covered well most of the issues we wanted to ask you, mm -hmm. well, so we saw in the picture that you're a sportsman, and I should have hidden it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well being here, we've seen people jogging and doing exercise in the street. So there's definitely a, a sense of, of sports and, uh, and athlete, athletic uh, here in Seychelles. So what do you think is the potential of Seychelles in this sense? Um, you don't have a medal, an Olympic medal uh, yet, but uh, what do you think is the potential? Oh, uh, the sky is the, is the limit. Yes. You know, there's a small country like Jamaica, although yeah. it's got millions yeah. of <laughs> I mean, inhabitants compared to our below 100,000, which has produced uh, the, cult, the, the, the world's best um, 100 meter runner mm. in Usain Bolt. Yes. Uh, by the way, they also got a gold medal in 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 a sport which is practiced only in in countries which have ice and snow yes. when they do not have it. So the sky is the limit. Um, it's just a question of uh, of of, of Seychellois really um, choosing, you know, uh, mm. uh, a, a sport uh, or their liking and uh, and having the the discipline that is required. To to train uh, daily and uh, to um, uh, adopt a, a lifestyle which will take them yeah. there, uh, it's not uh, it's not impossible. And um, at my age, I will not manage it. I will only uh, be able to um, to do what what I I, I like uh, to do. But I think, uh, uh, well, I do it for myself, of course, but I also realize that, um, that others are looking uh, yes. at me and that uh, I could be used as a reference to, uh, by others of my age or older, or, and, and the younger generation, of course, yes. uh, to also um, uh, uh, practice a sport which would give them good health. And those who are adventurous and uh, want to achieve, uh, you know, the gold, gold and silver, silver and bronze medals mm -hmm. uh, in the world, that it is not, uh, it is not impossible. Um, we are um, very good in volleyball, by the way, in terms of, of team right, sports, yeah. uh, very good in volleyball. Um, and uh, I used to run, that is, manage one of the volleyball teams in my own community, okay. uh, which is, uh, which used to be, and, it's, and still is, the best uh, volleyball team mm -hmm. in the country. 
a uh, female female uh, volleyball team it's called Arsu and it's in the papers today they are oh. uh, going to participate in the in the African uh, volleyball championships well. having won the Indian Ocean uh, oh. volleyball championships uh, last year so, so they so. they have been winning these championships uh, you know from time to time uh, and they are the, the club that has won the most in the region the Indian Ocean volleyball championships so we do have um, we do have uh, certain strengths mm -hmm. in terms of sports. I think it's for Seychellois to uh, to choose their, their sports and to, uh, as I said, set their minds to it yeah. and organize their lives in such a way that they are able to. I just was reading about Usain Bolt mm -hmm. uh, by coincidence last uh, last night. Uh, people tend to look at you know the when he's performing. Uh, the 100 meters finals in the Olympic Games and, uh, and uh, the Commonwealth Games and elsewhere, world, the World Championships. Um, but we see very little about Usain Bolt whilst he's training. Yeah. Mm, that's right. So you just need to Google Usain Bolt training yeah. to see all the hard time he goes through, yeah. <laughs> all the pain he goes through yeah, but it, it, uh, on a daily basis for him to achieve you know what mm. uh, he's been able that the reward is, uh, to, is high yes. the reward is high but yes. there's a lot of work yeah. that uh, goes yeah. behind it and that's why i'm saying it has to be your uh, you know, lifestyle yeah with a role model like that and it could be achieved here in Seychelles. well thank you very much for the most interview welcome. and uh, thank you for having us you're most welcome